Ooh, the devil does not like this message. This is, <laughs> I'm going to try again. Each I each time I've tried, um, never mind. It's just, the devil does not want this message to be heard, but here it comes. It's a simple one, though. Most of you already get it. Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, sorry, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now I'm going to take you over to the book of John. So that was your invitation. That's our invitation to come to Jesus to be saved. Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. That's just one of many, I'm sure, throughout the Bible. But that's that's an invitation right there. Jesus saying, come unto me and to take his yoke upon you. He'll make your life much easier, in other words. He, he has the right words. And no one else can say it better than he did. That's a great invitation to come to Jesus right there. If you don't know him, Take heed to what he's saying to you right there in red. And then John chapter 7, I'm sorry, chapter 6. Let's start off with verse 65. And he said, therefore, Jesus saying, therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given to him of my father. Well, then looky here. In John chapter 6, verse 66, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Well then, we need to take heed to that. That's a message, brothers and sisters. They walked with him. And then they turned away from him. Could you imagine that? How easy it must have been to believe in Jesus. That which we have, they we, we can't see or hear him, but they were there with him, walking with him, breaking bread with him, talking with him, learning from him directly. And they still turned away, said it, thought it was too hard to follow him and what he said. Knowing who he was. Believing in who he was. But... The devil came along. There had to be no one but the devil to come along, as it says here in John 6, verse 66. Here comes the devil. From that moment on, he convinced them, basically. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. They turned away from Jesus, who they could see with their eyes, touch him, and, and know him right there in front of them. And here we are, all these years later, where it takes faith to believe what we cannot see. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. Here we are, us who believe and trust in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We're trusting and believing in Jesus by faith. Walking and believing by faith that we are on our way to heaven. We believe without even seeing Him. Now that, brothers and sisters... That's amazing. If it was easy for them back then to turn away seeing him, how much easier is it for us who cannot see him? Please do not turn away. Do not turn back to the world and go back to what you used to believe. Do not give up your faith and your hope in the Lord Jesus Christ as the devil would wish you to do in verse 6, verse 66 of the book of John. Do not turn away from your Lord. From Jesus. He loves you. He realizes what we're going through is very hard, but great will be our rewards in heaven. For all we have to go through in this life, we will reap the we reap rewards when we get to heaven. We don't do it for that reason. We don't follow Jesus and believe in him for that reason. We just simply believe by faith because we love him, because he first loved us. So don't turn away from Jesus. Don't turn back into the world for any reason whatsoever. Please trust in the Lord with all your heart and continue on. March on, Christian soldiers. 
march on and flee Satan in the name of Jesus. God bless you all in Jesus' name.